What's up? Been a while since you've seen my face. Standing here in front of my wall of fame. We'll do a video about this another time. So, wrapping up from Thanksgiving holiday. I uh, took a, pretty much a week of vacation. Only had to spend uh, a day of my off time because we got Thursday and Friday off. Uh, it's great working for an awesome company. So, I was also sick during most of it. Um, not bedridden sick. I still went to work uh, the, you know, the few days leading up to me being off work. But since I wasn't feeling all that well, uh, we didn't really do a lot. We spent time together as a family for Thanksgiving, but other than that, you know, we didn't go anywhere or anything like that. I went through a lot of gear. Uh, I've got some other footage that I may sprinkle in. Uh, I have a whole big video that I'm doing about our family grab-and-go bag. Uh, spoiler alert a little bit, I ended up going with the big bag for that, but I was really torn on how I wanted to redo my own personal go bag. Watched a lot of videos. We've got a lot of great people out here on the, on the platform that have a lot of great ideas and they share them. And I'm just trying to be one of those people. Uh, if you find me to be one of those people, like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, we're on our way to a thousand, which is exciting. Uh, anyway, started going through a lot of gear. Sitting there. You know, just really putting a lot of thought into it. Uh, now, I'm not... Uh, I don't I don't get into the whole bug out bag, the inch bag, the get home bag. It's all a sustainment bag. And I try to have a very modular system to where it works for anything I need it to work for without being attached to any one thing. Um, now, if I need it to be a get home bag, then of course I would probably add a few things to it. But this is more of a... Hey, things have gotten pretty bad. I need to I need to go over here with the family for a little while, or you know I'm going to be across town for the day. I want to take some stuff with me just in case. Uh, the Valley of the Desert is actually quite large um, for those who haven't been to Arizona. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of expanse between areas and some pretty rough areas to go through, both uh, civilized and non. So. It's good to have something in case I do need to go somewhere else for a while. Or we just need to get out of Dodge for a few days. So, kind of going back and forth. And I, you know, I have bags, okay? <laughs> I am a bagaholic. I, this is just the ones that made it to the wall. I have entire boxes full of bags. Uh, matter of fact, I'm fixing to start sending some bags out to other people because I have too many bags. Uh, I get them, I, I use them, I have some that I've got poor reviews, I've got some that were given to me. Um, you know, if there's any kind of sentimental value to them or if they're a gift or anything like that or they don't make them anymore or whatever, they're not going to leave my collection. But it makes it difficult because I want a bag to check off all the little key points. And for a go bag, you know, not to sound dire and, you know, all that, but, you know, your life could depend on it. Your bag needs to hold what you need it to hold in the in the event that you need it. So, went back and forth. Was going to build one of my other Rush 24s, and but I'd picked up this colorway in the Rush 24, this green, much like that, much like a lot of uh, my other stuff in that colorway, and I actually got that for a travel bag, and. As I started to load it out for travel by plane, um, I just felt it was it was a little too much. There's too much going on with it. I think it would have worked great, but I think there was a little too much going on with it for what I need in a travel bag for work. Now, if it had been a travel bag for a family vacation and we're going to be there a week or whatever, that may have changed things. I ended up getting another bag, which I have a video for. I'll try to link it somewhere. But I decided on that bag. So bear with me. This is going to be 
a few videos in a series as I redo and rebuild my my go bag and what I feel um, is going to be beneficial for me and my bag. So I had ordered another small bag from 511 to go along with my new travel bag and when I got it I realized it is not represented well on the website at all. I was super unhappy. So returned it. I ended up with store credit um, sometimes that happens when you order online and you, it's, anyway, that's neither here nor, here nor there. Ended up with some store credit. I mean, might as well grab a few things for the new go bag, I guess. Um, let me just say, 511, if by any chance you ever see my videos, understand that I, I love 511. I've got a lot. I just, in glancing distance, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, five, eleven bags, all within my eye line in my room. I'm a fan. Oh, I'm sorry, eleven, because also right there is my laptop case from five eleven. So I'm a fan. Um, what I'm not a fan of is the new pouches that you guys started making. When I got these, full disclaimer, my wife went for me. I was doing some other gear stuff, and her and the daughter like to go down there. Uh, daughter usually ends up with some free stuff. So, not like products, just miscellaneous stuff. But, I didn't realize that, that 5.11 had switched over to this style of molly attachment that a lot of other places had also started doing. And I, I had seen it on a few of their items, but I'd never really messed with it until today. Not a fan. I'm not a fan. If it wouldn't be such a pain to deal with just returning these, but the problem is, is I got them for very specific reasons, and if I return them, nothing else checks the other boxes so I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna make them work um, what's I have to do with the bag you'll see so let me flip this around we're gonna go over the basic idea of this bag and kind of show you what I've done thus far and then the next video will be starting to do the stuff to the bag so let me flip you guys around and welcome to my bed just kidding but it is my bed so, let me get my microphone cord out of the way. The green color way, uh, again, whatever they're calling this green nowadays. Um, there's a army green, ranger green, whatever. So, what I end up grabbing is I went ahead and, went ahead and got the, uh, the hip belt, the, the waist belt. This thing rides really weird. This sits in a really weird spot for me. And I thought, oh, I could put some pouches here. And I still might put a couple of small pouches here. I don't know yet. But I will say, it definitely does the job for keeping the bag against your back. Um, and I think it will make the bag much more comfortable. So the idea is to get this thing loaded out and then I'm gonna go walk around in the desert with it on. The other thing I got as I got this, this is a, a little med pouch, and I don't like their new affixing system at all. Not a fan. Um, I do like the baby Molly that they did on it. I don't know if, I, if you guys can see that, but I don't like the straps. But that's it's it's whatever. I can live with it, I guess. I just yeah. I did not know that one whole side was like pantyhose. And I get it, it's so that it can stretch and all that. Well, that's my concern. How long is this gonna last? However, with me being threads and all, uh, if this gets stupid, I'll just stitch a new panel on the side. But anyway, so I grabbed that. It has its own dedicated spot for a tourniquet. It has its own dedicated spot for trauma shears. And then you can shove some other, other goodies in there. So, one thing that has always bothered me about the Rush series is the compression straps. 
on most of my bags, especially the, the Rush 12s, I cut these off. I, I surgically remove these bad boys, make it to where they never existed. Um, but on a bag like this, that's going to be a go bag, I wanted to leave them because I do want to be able to compress everything that's in here down to a certain degree. But they bug me because whenever you're not using them, they're flopping around while you're trying to get in and out of the bag and then they fall down in there, they get caught in a zipper or whatever. So I came up with a solution. Now what I was originally thinking was I would come up with a couple of these. I've got a plenty of, of these stashed around in different kits to, to make my own gear out of. And I would make one to where I could just take these and just clip them together right here. You know, and just have this as, as something, you know, just kind of here, but out of the way. However, I have these off of another pack. So, now I also have some of the attachment versions of this from 511 that came with my Moab series bags, but I don't have a clue where those are right now. Everything from the move has still not been dealt with. However, what I found out is if I take these and I put these on the bag, bear with me one second, a little finicky to get on there, but not too bad. There we go. So what I found is if I just mount these on here, then whenever I take the compression straps off, I can clip them up out of the way. They stay out of the way and it doesn't affect this pocket because you're really only opening the top portion of this pocket anyway. Doesn't affect this pocket, keeps them out of the way. They don't fall down in here. So whenever you go to zip it up, anyone who carries rush bags understands what I'm talking about. These always get tangled up when you're trying to zip stuff up because you're not thinking about the fact that this is hanging down in your bag. So just mount these on here. I'm gonna dig around and find my Moab kits that I've stashed away that have these in here and try to make it more of 511-ish. These came from another brand, but they fit and they work. They don't match great, but they don't match bad. So first few things done to the new go bag. So when I come back for the next video, we're gonna get the big box of possibility out and the box of possibility is sitting right over there and it has a whole lot of stuff that I pulled out of multiple kits and multiple storage boxes that's all going to go into building the new go bags both my personal go bag and the family go bag the family go bag is right over there it already has a lot of stuff in it we're going to wrap it up get it nice and ready to go by the way same colorway the big monster Russia 100 hanging on the wall of fame, same colorway. I'm trying to get it to where most all of this stuff is the same colorway. So at a glance, you know which one is a go bag for me and my family. So till the next one, hit that sub button, hit that like button, please and thank you. I'm trying to grow the channel here. Leave me a bunch of comments down below on what you think should go in here. What do you think I should be carrying in my go bag? Doesn't mean it's going to be in there, but I'm real eager to see what everyone thinks. Till next time, take care.